well, I went to go pick up something. So I decided to ride the bike. And it went maybe 60 feet. And it stalled. So I thought maybe I was out of gas. So I put on reserve. And it didn't, it kicked over, but it, it never caught. So, ah, I checked it. It's not even nowhere near empty. So, I ripped it a little bit apart and I started thinking it could only be two things spark plug or the coil. Um, yeah, when it, when it, when it, when it died, it just like it died like it ran out of gas. So, like I said, these bikes are very, they're basic. The KLR is very basic, man. You know what I mean? It's not like one of them high-end bikes where it could be anything. It's very basic. Um, so, like I said, it can only be a coil or a spark plug. I have one of them expensive spark plugs. I forgot what it's called. Uh, uh, I... I Irelidium or something like that. I forgot. I paid a lot of money for this spark plug. Supposed to be lifetime warranty. Anything goes bad, you know. So I'm going to grab a spark plug and I guess I'll test the coil and with my with my voltage test to see what's coming out. And if I have to get a coil, it's not bad, you know, whatever. But that's what's going on with the dark horse. I was going to ride it because I, um, the tractor, it broke a belt. So, I, had to, I was going to pick up a belt. So, I was going to ride the bike to get the belt. And the bike won't start. And now the tractor's down. So, um, I got to get one. So, that you know what's going on. I got to get a, <laughs> I got to get a belt and pick up a spark plug and test the coil. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I got one of them really good spark plugs. They say it never goes bad. Like I said, the way they make things today, who knows? So that's what I'm, that's what I'm up to right now. And uh, the RC car, which some of you guys were asking about, it's a Pirate 3, or Pirate, yeah, Pirate 3. I took it all apart when I first got it, and I put techno suspension all down in here, and techno axles, and everything. So, 100 bucks for the front, 100 bucks for the rear. This thing's like bulletproof. It's ridiculous. Um, that's for this guy I know who follows me on my channel. He wants to know how it runs. And uh, I saved a lot of money by buying this buggy, this truggy. It's not a buggy, it's a truggy. And, uh, my buggies were over here. And I got more RC cars, whatever. But uh, yeah, that's, what, that's what's up today. And uh, just gotta get it going. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Man, me things, I'm out of here. South Carolina, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm in here. So I know some, some of my subscribers say when I come to South Carolina, they wanna meet up. Well, I'm here. <laughs> Um, some guys want to go ride. I'm waiting for the phone call. Um, some guys have a bug out vehicle. I kind of, you have to pick who you want to hang out with. You can't just hang out with anyone. So guys who, who contact me, or anyone who contacts me, I always look at their channel. If they don't have a channel, uh, I'm sorry, but I don't, I'm probably not going to meet up, you know? Um... If you do something I'm not really into, I don't think I'm going to meet up. You know what I mean? Like some guys are really into guns and their whole channel is about guns. I, I'm, I have, I like guns. Guns are no, all right. I just don't, I'm not into that, you know? Um, camping, bug out vehicles, and, uh, and, and of course, motorcycles, my new bug out vehicle. If you call it that, I don't know. Yeah. So, uh. I'm here. I know Ron C. and Box of Chocolates lives somewhere around. It's close. So like I said, I'm here. South Carolina. We're sunny all the time. <laughs>
All right, I'm out of here. Talk to you guys later.